Last Tuesday I came home and I entered the kitchen from the garage door and there was water all over the floor. I initially thought that maybe the water was running in the sink, so I looked over at the sink but there was no water running, but I could hear the powerful sound of high flow water. So I opened the doors underneath the sink and water was gushing out. So immediately I called my husband to help me get the water turned off and then I knew that we needed to do the best we could to get the water up as quickly as we could. So I worked really hard on that and then my friend came over to help me. She noticed that water had gone beneath the peninsula so we had a bigger problem than what we thought. So I called I think initially I called the plumber and then I called Swartz because we knew we needed some help with managing that situation. So the Swartz team was here within I think an hour and immediately started checking the moisture content and realized that we had a big problem that needed to be addressed. Yeah, I just got it out of the shower and I didn't know a thing about it and I hear my wife, Tom, Tom. So I go out there as quick as I could and she says, we got water everywhere. So I got underneath the sink and shut it off. There we were. I mean, we had planned, thank God a couple had come or called me up and said before I got in the shower that, well, no, they had come by before I got in the shower. So I was late like two hours where we had been going, she had been going for maybe three We'd have been going together for three hours. I was really surprised how much water uh, was produced in a short period of time. I was only gone 45 minutes, and I don't know at what point during that time frame the water leak started, but I was amazed how much water there was in that short period of time. So I was really glad we weren't gone longer because I can't even imagine. I think our whole house probably would have been really damaged. Well. Two thoughts related to the process of the water mitigation. One, I was greatly appreciative of how promptly somebody came to help us with that situation because you really want some immediate help when you're in a crisis like that. So they were here quickly. Then I noticed the level of expertise that they had. So I thought we really did the right thing calling Swartz because they've clearly done this a few times before. <laughs> it was very obvious. And then they came back daily to check on things and give us progress reports. And not only did they come daily, but the night before they would call and make sure it was a convenient time for them to come the next day. So they really were sensitive to our schedule and working cooperatively with us, which was really nice. I appreciated all those things. The equipment they had was really great and important, but it was really shocking how hot and noisy and um, dusty everything was. I really didn't expect that. but. Uh, it did do the job. We got everything dried out and they had predicted it would last through the weekend that we would be having the dehumidifiers and that's exactly what happened. I think they they knew exactly you know what it would take and they were pretty precise in everything they predicted. Well I think the initial thing is get the water source turned off. You know we had a pipe that um, that broke underneath the sink and so you initially want to stop the flow of water of course and then um, I think just, you know, be careful, safety issues that you don't fall and things like that that could happen and try not to panic. Uh, that's probably really hard in a crisis like that, but try not to panic and then I think you need to um, contact a plumber, your insurance company and Swartz uh, and those would be recommendations that I would have and then just um, work regularly with your insurance company and with the water mitigation team to uh, see what is needed and all of that. And I'm really thankful for good insurance too. My insurance company was great, so we were very fortunate with all of that. The whole team was really great. Mm -hmm. um, the, you know, from the initial phone call uh, all the way through, uh, Rick was here first, and so we met him first. I was really grateful for his promptness. Um, we worked with Justin, we worked with Mike, uh, worked with Tim and the whole team was just really great. We didn't encounter anyone who was unsympathetic or unprofessional in any way, so I would highly recommend the team. That was the other thing too is, you know, they told us on Tuesday when they were initially here that they would come back Wednesday morning at 8.30 to pull up the flooring at 8.26. I got a call 
from Justin, we're here, and your neighbor just let us in because we had to be out of town that day for a few hours. And he said, just want to let you know we're here. And so I was like, okay, <laughs> what are you going to say? So that was neat. It, it was good to know, you know, yeah. since we were out of town and everything, it was good to know they were here. They had started their job and everything. So 